In today's video, we're going to learn about the multiplication rule in the chapter Permutation. According to the multiplication rule, number one, if one event can be performed in n ways and another event can be performed in n ways, then there are m times n ways to perform the two events successively. So what is the meaning of successively? Okay, the meaning of successively means one event after another. Okay, number two, the multiplication rule can be extended to three or more successive events. Number three, in general, multiplication rule states that if an event can occur in m ways and a second event can occur in n ways, then both events can occur in m times n ways. Let's look at example 1a. Determine the number of ways to toss a dice and a piece of coin simultaneously. So for a dice, we have six surfaces which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, which means there are six ways that I can choose from. Whereas for coin, we have head and tail. So which means that there are two ways. So the answer for A, the number of ways is 6 times 2 which is 12 ways. Okay, let's solve for B. Find the number of ways a person can guess a four-digit code to access a cell phone if the digits can be repeated. Okay, so how many digits can we choose from? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So here we have 10 digits that we can choose from. Okay, so they're asking you to guess four-digit code. I'm going to draw four lines. One, two, three, and four. So for the first code, which is this, this one, so we can either choose zero, one, or two, or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So which means there are ten ways for the first code. So since the digits can be repeated, which means that the second code is also ten ways, and the third code is also ten ways, and the fourth code is also ten ways. And then we multiply them together and we will get 10,000 ways. So 10,000 ways. And that's the answer. Let's look at self exercise 4.1 question 1. There are three choices of colors for a shirt. So three choices. And there are five choices of colors for a pair of pants. Determine the number of ways to match a shirt with a pair of pants. Means you're going to mix and match the outfit. Okay, so here there are three choices, means M is three. Okay, for example, the shirt is a yellow color, blue color, and red color. Okay, whereas this Anna is five. So for a pair of pants, means it can be yellow, blue, red, white, or orange. Okay, so determine the number of ways to match a shirt with a pair of pants. Shirt with a pants. So we use the formula, okay, which is the multiplication rule, m times n, which is 3 times 5, and it's equals to 15 ways. Okay, so to prove this, so I'm going to list down all the combinations that we can match a shirt with a pants, okay? Just to prove, yeah? Okay, so if the shirt is yellow, yellow shirt with yellow pants, so yellow, yellow, okay? Yellow shirt with blue pants, so it'll be YB, okay, then yellow shirt with red pants, okay, which is YR, then yellow shirt with white pants, so YW, and then yellow shirt with orange pants, which is YO, okay, and then we use blue, BY, BB, BR, BW, BO, okay, or RY, RB, RR, RW, RO, okay, so I'm going to list them down, so we have BY, BB, BR, BW, BO, okay, or R, Y, YB, YR, RW, RO. So, how many ways are there? So, total, we have 15 ways, okay, and is proven. There is 15 ways. Okay, this is for four small number. So for big numbers, okay, for large numbers, it's advisable to use the multiplication rule, which is m times n, to find the number of ways. 
Let's look at question number two. How many ways are there to answer 15 true or false questions? So here, 15 is M, according to the multiplication rule. Okay, 15 is M. And then true or false, we have two ways, which means N is equal to 2. Okay, and the answer, according to the multiplication rule, M times N is equal to 15 times 2, which is equal to 30 ways. And this is the answer. Let's look at question number 3. There are four roads joining town A to town B and five roads joining town B to town C. How many ways can a person travel to and fro, pergi dan balik, to town B if the person A uses the same road, okay, guna jalan yang sama, and B does not use the same road, means guna jalan yang berlainan. Okay, let's solve for A first. Yeah? Okay, so there are three towns, A, B, and C. So from A to B, there are four roads. One, two, three, and four. Then from B to C, there are five roads. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so if I go from A to B, how many ways are there? One, two, three, and four. So there are four ways. Okay, from B to C, it'll be one, two, three, four, and five. So it means B to C, there are five ways. Okay, and then they say when go back, use the same road. So let's say just now we use the first road. Then when we go back, we have to use back the first road. So there's only one way. Okay, from C to B, one way. And then from B to A, if just now I use the first road, then when I go back, I have to use back the same road. So there's only one way from B to A. And then we times them together. 4 times 5 times 1 times 1 is equal to 20 ways. And that's the answer for A. Okay, now let's solve for B. Does not use the same road. Okay, I'm going to draw town A, B, C first. A, B, and C. So from town A to B, 4 ways. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then B is 5 ways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so... When I go, I have four ways from A to B. One, two, three, and four. So A to B, there are four ways. Then from B to C, one, two, three, four, five. There are five ways. And then from when I go back from C to B, I cannot use back the same road. Let's say just now I use the first road. So when I go back, I can only use the second one or the third one or the fourth one or the fifth one which means there are four ways from C to B okay and then when I go back from B to A so let's say just now I use the first road so when I go back I cannot use back the first road so I can only use second or third or fourth so there are three ways that I can go from B to A then I multiply them together so 4 times 5 times 4 times 3, and the answer is 240 ways. And that's the answer.